Hi hey, crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover again CK Sync airdrop. The testnet is working. I did a previous video on some of the applications in the testnet that were not working. But today I'm going to tell you exactly how to use the CK Sync 2.0 testnet. I'm going to show you how to get balance here and how to swap in two different applications and mint an NFT. Of course, this is only part of the airdrop that we are looking for for CK Sync. So in order to get the airdrop, my perspective, speculative perspective, is that you need to use the CK Sync 2.0 testnet. So that helps to test the network that the project is building. And also we are just eight days from the mainnet 2.0. So the other thing that I would recommend you to do is use the current CK Sync 1.0. And in order to do that, you can see that in my video that I did here three days ago, CK Sync last chance airdrop. There I explain step by step how to use the mainnet and also this testnet. But today I am repeating that in order to be more focused so you understand step by step how to do it. So let's go directly to the content guides. The way to do this, guys, is that first you need to get this testnet Ethereum. How you are going to have this Ethereum garlic, this is testnet 2, is that you need to mint it. And I will put the link on the description of this URL. This is nothing related to any scam or anything. I have been using it already. There are many ways to get the garlic faucet Ethereum, but this has been the easiest for me. So what you need to do in this First, copy here your Ethereum address, click I'm a human and validate this and click start mining. This will connect you to the garlic proof of work faucet and you will see that you are going to use this hash rate to start mining your rewards. These rewards are the garlic Ethereum and this is what you need to do, get in order to test the CK Sync 2.0 testnet. So leave this here. It will take you like 10 minutes around that in order to get some material here. Hey guys, well approximately already passed 10 minutes and you can see that we already mining in the rewards 0.033 garlic Ethereum. And you can see that now we can click this button stop mining and claim rewards. So for the purpose of the video and I think for you too, this amount of tokens is already enough. You can see that the minimum to claim is 0.025 and the maximum is 6 Ethereum. So you can leave it more to have 0.1 for example to be sure that you can do a lot of things. But for the video this is okay. So I will click stop mining and claim rewards. And this will send everything into the address that you put there. You need to confirm this and click on claim rewards. After you click that this is the address that you are going to be sent all what you have been mining. You can see here the tax of the transaction. So click close here and now you can go into your wallet here. This is at portal.ckysync.io and you go to bridge. After some minutes you can see that we already have the balance here. So I will send part of this into the CK uh, testnet 0.2. So you can put here 0.025 and I will click deposit. You need to confirm to switch the transaction here, the network, confirm. And after two minutes, you can see that the transaction was submitted. So I will go to back to balances now, which is here on your wallet. So from here, now you can go and see your transactions in the explorer of the chain. Remember, this is all testnet. This Ethereum tokens doesn't have value and you cannot send it into another network. So in order to do some transactions, you can transfer it or receive it here from another CK Sync 2.0 Guerling addresses. So if you want to send into another wallet that you have doing this the same, you can do it and you will receive also. So you can transfer and receive. I recommend you to do both things. So create another wallet, do the same and send funds from one account to another. another. And after you that, you will see the transactions on the Explorer. Copy your address and you can go here to the blog explorer. It's at explorer.ckisync.io. You click here, paste your address and click search. And you will see that all the last transactions that you have been doing here. 
So this will make sure for you that you have been already making transactions. So if appearing appear here have verified that it's okay. So you are going to get the airdrop in my perspective. So now where you can do more transactions? Well, this is the official link of CK Sync 2.0 testnet applications. You have here the list of all the applications. In my previous video that I did here, the CK Sync video last chance airdrop, I also mentioned this, but many of these applications were not working. Now, some of them are still not working because they need to upload the contracts to the version 2.0. So many of them still not working, but some of them are working. Others, for example, here are closed. So you can go one by one and try to do transactions in each of these ones. But I will tell you exactly which ones I am using right now that are correctly working. The first one is mute that switch. So you can find it here. Mute is a decentralized exchange. So you can click this link and we will send you to the to the page. So connect to the network here and you will see if you select Ethereum that you have balance here. You have 0 0.09 Ethereum in my case, which corresponds what you can see here in the bridge. That my balance is 0 0.0899 here in CK Sync uh, Golden Testnet. And the same you can see here in the wallet. So now in mute, you can see that we have that amount of Ethereum. So now you can select any of these altcoins, for example, link. I will trade 0.1 link, click on swap, confirm the transaction, and the swap was confirmed. So the swap was already done. You can click here, and you will see that you have the balance here, 0.1 link. I recommend you to get a little bit of all these different altcoins. For example, one die, confirm the transaction, and again, you swap it correctly. So now you have one die here in your balance. Let's do it with USDC and it's done super directly. So now you have a couple more altcoins. So if you return here to your address and you search again here, you will see that now we have more transactions done here. Are included, are not verified yet, but you can see here that are already happening. This is an in transaction. This is when we send the Ethereum into, into the testnet. And here you can see the three swaps that I did. And if you go to the wallet and you refresh here, you will see that now I have the tokens here. One die, 0.1 link and five USDC. So this is what you needed to be able to get the airdrop from my perspective. You already did it with mute. I recommend you to go, for example, to another one, which is 1KX. Again, you can connect. Be sure to be here in CK Sync because there are other options. Select your Ethereum, select another coin here, OSD, for example. Click swap, confirm the transaction, and the swap was done. So this is another application that you just has been tested. You can put Bitcoin here, for example, 0.003. Click swap and the swap was done. You move it some Ethereum to Bitcoin here. Of course, all this is testnet money. And again, you can go to the Explorer and confirm your, your transaction here. And finally, guys, we are going to mint an NFT. You can go to Mint Square. This is another application that was working. You can search it here, Mint Square, MintSquare.io. Remember to select here CK Sync testnet because the others are another testnet. Connect your wallet. Once you are connected, you will see your address here and you will see that you have your collections, your profile and everything. So click on mint. Here you need to put an image. I am selecting this image of one of my cats. I have one dog and two cats, guys. One is a gray. This is called a Ethereum, her na his name. And I have another cat, which is uh, orange, that is called Bitcoin. I will put here and create an NFT of my cat Ethereum. Put any description that you want. You can put any attributes and values that you want. And after you complete this, you can click on Mint. Confirm the transaction. And you will see here that the NFT was successfully minted. Go to Profile. This is your profile on Mint Square. And you can see here that you have your NFT already minted in Mint Square. So guys, those are the three platforms that I am using right now. Mute, 1KX and Mint Square. 
And if you go again to the address, you will have also the mint, the transaction that you did for that. Doing this on this video, you already tested the Seek I Sync 2.0. So now you can go to this video, Seek I Sync Last Chance Airdrop, and you can use the mainnet. And doing both things, you are already eligible for the airdrop according my perspective. I think we only have eight days until the mainnet 2.0. And all the things that you do before that, I think are the ones that are going to come for the airdrop. Guys, that is all for the video. Remember, before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And check my other videos about the Arbitrum airdrop that is happening right now. And the Optimism quest that is also happening right now. You can be one of the winners of those airdrops, which I think I'm going to be significantly. So this is a bear market. You can trade or you can use your time to benefit from these kind of airdrops that are life changing. Optimism, the last time I know people that earn $20,000 on airdrops. So this could happen to Seek I Think and also for Arbitrum and the new Optimism airdrop. Guys, check those videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye.